Hello and welcome to The Screening Room. I'm talking to Glenn Close, one of the stars of The World According to Garp, a new film by George Roy Hill. You're co-starring with Robin Williams. Now, you play Robin Williams' mother. Now, first of all, I don't believe it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you are an ardent feminist, although this is something I wanted to get into right away. A feminist, or would you maybe choose to define it another way? Individualist. <laughs> oh, I think, as a matter of fact, John Irving is careful to define it in that way, yeah, too. I, it's, yeah, I don't think of Jenny as a feminist. I think she, be, she becomes a feminist kind of symbol. That's just because feminists see in her something that they respond to. Yeah, and you have your own ways of, about going out to uh, get the things you want or protect <laughs> the things that you need to protect. Of course, in the book, there are a lot more things that we can read about than we can see in the film, but your way, for example, of parenting young T.S. Garp is mm -hmm. most unusual, to say the least. What do you think personally about the single mother, uh, about the way in which there seems to be current today, a lot of feelings from some women about, I'd love to have children, but I'm not so sure about having the father around all the time. Any personal reactions to what Jenny is doing? Well, personally, I'd prefer to have the father around, just because I think it's a lot of hard work. Um, I don't know anything, you know, firsthand. I don't have any children <laughs> myself. But um, I think it was w wonderfully suited for Jenny. <laughs> I think it's true when she says you don't really need a father. Yeah. Uh, you are filming on a gorgeous location, oh, too. Yes. You establish a kind of a hostel, I guess, for people in trouble. Mm -hmm. um, where was this shot? It's just a oh, beautiful... Oh, it was on a magnificent, at a magnificent house on Fisher's Island, mm -hmm. which is at the north end of Long Island. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time anything like that had been filmed on the island. So, And it's a very private, rather exclusive place. Um, but we had a wonderful time there. We had and two baseball games. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a very pleasant experience oh, as your, your first official film. Uh, I say official because you've had some filmmaking experience before on television, I yeah, understand. Yes. Uh, you worked with uh, Mr. Coppola on TV, is that No, correct? what happened is that um, <coughs> uh, Fielder Cook did a film for television called Too Far to Go. It was with Michael Moriarty and Blythe Danner, and I had a tiny little role in the beginning of that. Mm -hmm. And one of Coppola's people who is in charge of special projects for him saw it and thought that it warranted release in regular theaters and they tried to do that and uh, I don't think much came of it but uh, I wonder if as a result of a film like World According to Garp that maybe the things that you have done in the past will we'll have more of a chance to see them now in other words when your name becomes current to a movie going audience more things that you've done will be showing up again. I haven't done that many things on film. I mean, mm -hmm. th those just those two little things. Tell me some more about your experience in acting off of the movies, though. What else have you been doing? Well, the last, well, the very, the thing I did just before last week I, we ended was a rather fascinating play off-Broadway called The Singular Life of Albert Nobbs, and I played Albert <coughs> Nobbs. It's about this woman in Victorian England, uh, Victorian Island, uh, who actually existed, who in order to survive, uh, disguised herself as a waiter and worked as a waiter in a big hotel all her life. This sounds like a situation maybe in Garp itself. Well, well it's funny because Gar uh, Albert <laughs> is totally different from Jenny. <laughs> Albert is this delicate, absolutely innocent uh, person who is in this disguise which ultimately she can't break out of. And she, she uh, leads a very lonely, unfulfilled existence and the, the, the play is her trying to create some kind of companionship with somebody else. Even including uh, the star of the film, Robin Williams, all of you seem to have had extensive theatrical experience. Yes. Uh, how does that happen to be the case across the board? Were, were you all selected because of that, or do you have any speculation? Have to ask Marion Dougherty and George uh, Hill that. I think, uh, I don't know. I, I think, um, I had known Mary Beth Hurd as my oldest friend in New York. The first job I had was understudying her in 74. I know John Lithgow. I've done two shows with Susie Kurtz. Um, you, the, the life on stage is a much harder life as far as just uh, discipline and, having, and schedule and uh, having to come up with the goods eight times a week, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. than you might say film is. And, uh, Those long waits between takes, do you tend to lose concentration because of your other kind of background? 
No, not necessarily. I was so fascinated by the whole process of everything. I just hung around all the time <laughs> looking at what everyone was doing. I'm going to be talking. What I was going to finish saying uh -huh. is that I think, I think there's a certain texture that, that is brought to the film because of, of all of us coming from doing many different kinds of roles on stage. Uh, I don't know why I feel that, but I think Garp is a film full of texture and, and kind of just uh, not personalities, but actors. And, and your character, Jenny Field, is full of contrasts. Yes. Uh, she's supposed to be very tough, and she doesn't understand lust. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I don't know how tough. I don't know what you mean by tough. Well, but she would seem to be maybe a bit remote from the world and very much self-contained and self-propelled. She's self-propelled. I don't think she's remote from the world. I think there are too many people who have been wounded by the world who she, uh, you know, takes care yeah. of to be remote from the world. Well, that's where the contrast comes yeah. in because at all times on screen, I was very convinced of a sense of warmth that mm -hmm. you came through with, a very pronounced kind of compassion yeah. for other characters. Uh, are you conscious about having to sort of walk a tightrope sometime between those different kinds of attitudes, toughness? I still call yes. it toughness and yes. compassion. Yes. I don't, think Jenny, I don't think Jenny could have could have done what she did. I don't think she could have conceived Garp initially if she didn't have a certain kind of. Uh, she's a very straight backbone. Jenny. Well, you, <laughs> you really are at the core of World According to Garp, and I, for one, am mightily glad. I want to congratulate you. I think on a very impressive performance. A tough thing to bring off, Jenny Field. And it's called World According to Garp, also starring Mary Beth Hurt, John Lithgow, and Robin Williams. I've been talking to Glenn Close of that film. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you next time here in the screening room.